Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, today's video is just so exciting to me. My heart is just like fluttering. I'm a mess. I'm disgusting today. My hair is like a week old without any washing. I know I'm gross. Today I'm here to announce something like so cool and so close to my heart and just like everything I've ever dreamed of in the entire world. No, it is not an official collab, but it's like the next best thing in my opinion. ColourPop selected myself and some amazing other creators and influencers on Instagram and on YouTube. You guys know they recently came out again with the Build Your Own Palettes. Well, ColourPop asked us to build our own palettes and you guys can actually purchase them on the ColourPop website. My palette is live online for sale for purchase right now on ColourPop's website. I will link it down below for you guys. And of course, this video is to show you guys my palette and I'm so excited. So first of all, just know it's not gonna come in this exact palette. The palette on the website is the palette that it will come in. I had originally picked this one out, but you guys bought all of them during the BYOP sale they had a week or two ago. You guys bought this, you sold it out. So this palette design was not available at the time of our little palette launches because you guys just bought them like crazy. But that's okay because I love the palette packaging that mine has now. It's beautiful. I will do a little picture here so you guys can see the packaging itself. Are you ready to see my palette? I'm just like, ah! I can't believe this is real. Again, it's why I look so gross today because I just could not wait to show you guys. Like I couldn't even shower. I couldn't even curl my hair. I just beat my mug and then I came to film this video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing four makeup tutorials, four little eyeshadow looks using only shades in my eyeshadow palette. I have four different looks for you guys. They're very different from each other. So I think you'll really enjoy that. I would have live swatching you guys, but this happened so, so quickly this week. I've only filmed one video this week because I've been doing so much wedding stuff. And tomorrow, Saturday, I actually have a meet and greet in New York City at IMAX with Sigma Beauty, which is super awesome. So I have been pressed for time, so I do not have live swatches in this video. If you guys let me know that you want them, I will film that the minute I get home from New York on Monday, and I will get that up for you guys ASAP. So because these are the Build Your Own palettes, none of these eyeshadows are new eyeshadows. These are shadows you could possibly already have in your own collection. If by chance you don't, you can pick this up. It's all of my ColourPop favorite eyeshadows. This is it here. I'm obsessed. I think it is so me in an eyeshadow palette. It's colorful. It's smoky. It's holographic and shimmery and dimensional. It's matte. There's dingy grungy tones like the beautiful olives and the mustardy yellows and but there's still romance with these purples and rose golds and then we just have brights and funs like this super bright pink. These duochromy amazing shades down here I'm obsessed. These truly are all of my favorite ColourPop single shadows in one palette and the fact that we can like own the same palette of my favorites is just like my blowing so I'm just so humbled and so honored and I can't believe ColourPop chose me I really can't believe it I've been crying I'm just I'm so excited and I hope you guys love it as much as I do so, so like I said it is live on ColourPop's website right now I will link it down below for you guys I'm gonna show you guys each shade and their swatches and then we will get on to the makeup tutorials you can skip to the makeup tutorials if you'd rather just watch those that's totally fine and yeah I'm just excited and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and loving my live swatching videos so much because I'm sure this wouldn't happen if obviously it wouldn't happen if you guys weren't enjoying those videos so it just it means everything to me thank you thank you so much if you guys do end up purchasing my ColourPop palette please let me know because I would love to personally thank each and every one of you I just I can't I'm gonna cry again I gotta hold it together okay let's get into the individual shades and swatches Okay, you guys, so from left to right, hopefully that's left to right where you're watching. It might be the opposite. I'm not sure. The first shade is a beautiful matte, kind of just perfect blushy nude. This is the shade Wake Up Call. It is literally my favorite transition shade in the world. I use it in so many looks, just getting ready every day. It's a shadow that always stays on my makeup desk, and I love it. Wake Up Call is one of my favorites. If you have a deeper skin tone, it can also double as like a really nice highlight palette for under your brow. The next shade over is Chic Happens. This is kind of like a dusty lavender beige. I love how unique it is. It looks beautiful with purple eyeshadows, brown eyeshadows. Honestly, any eyeshadow is just one of those shades that kind of magically tie into all looks and I love it. The next shade is called Take the Lead. This is kind of a really, honestly, uh, I don't want to just call it a, a gray because I feel like there's something else in there and I can't put my finger on it. It reminds me of my old Chinchilla Dusty who unfortunately passed away. Love him 
him so much, but it's a beautiful, like, just dusty color. Next, we have Paper Tiger. Oh, do I love Paper Tiger. Paper Tiger is just a beautiful mustardy yellow. It is so gorgeous. Next one over is Martian. This is a gorgeous orange, kind of like a burnt orange, and it has a really nice golden shimmer in it that actually stays on the lid. I love that color. And then the last one there is called Cute Alert, and this is a matte kind of rusty red. Not quite a burgundy, more in the rusty red family. So that is the first row of shadows. All right, next row, we are starting with this one here. This is Facet, Facet, Facet. I just listened to a pronunciation too and I forgot. Facet, I believe it is. I love this one because it's almost like a burgundy, but there's a little more hint of brown in there. Everyone has an eyeshadow palette with a burgundy in it. This one is unique with that brown tone, and that's why I had to have it in there. The next shade over is Sleeper. Sleeper is a beautiful, rich, almost purpley orchid color. A little more unique than your standard purple. Had to throw just a good old faithful brown in there. This is Cloud Nine. It is a matte. These are all matte, actually. This next shade is called Team Captain. I mean, it is one of the most gorgeous olive shades, and it is so buttery, soft, and pigmented. Huge fan of Team Captain. I do use that in one of my looks today coming up. The next shade is Conjure Up. I mean, look at this. It is the most creamy, rich, matte, teal. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of gemstones. I just love it. And you guys know I always say no eyeshadow palette is complete without a matte black for me. If you do not use matte black, you can always pop that out and put in a shadow that you do use on the regular. This row, this row. This is my party row. This is the That Girl Shea XO Bachelorette party row. I don't know why. It's just getting me super excited for my bachelorette party. I'm going to be rocking all of these shades. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Starting here at this one on the end, we have Paradisco. I mean, do you see that beautiful shine? And these were not put on with a wet brush, a wet finger, you guys. These are dry swatches. Imagine the metallic goodness with a wet brush. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with Paradisco. The next shade over, a little more mild, and actually what I have on my eyelids today, this one is High Strung. It is just a beautiful neutral rose gold. Not even too rose gold. It's definitely very neutral. I guess maybe even more champagne. The next shade over, oh, I love the dimension when it turns. A little more peachy, and then when you kind of twist it, you can see it gets almost like a rusty peachy. Beautiful, such a unique shade. The next shade over is Pinky Promise. Look at that. Oh, I can't take it. This little baby, this like was a definite for the palette. This shade here is Solstice with the Mostest. And is it ever, look at that impact. Look at that bright pink. Can you think of anything more better for like music festivals this summer? Anything fun you're gonna be doing, that is a pink that you want. It has a beautiful, blue glittery shine in it. It's just gorgeous. And then the last one is Thank You Next. And it is so cool because it's kind of red and then it's kind of yellow and then it's kind of pink. It's just an amazing duochrome. This is just my favorite row. I think they're all so beautiful. And now you guys, we have the very last row. So as you can see, I left the last two rows for like all the super fun shebang duochrome shimmer glimmer shadows and I love them. So the first shade here is called Carrot Cake. It is like liquid hot gold running down your eyelids or wherever else you want to put it. I love this shine. I just love, I love it. I have no words. I love it. The next shade is Mr. Sandman. Look at that duochromy goodness. It looks red when you turn your head facing straight on. It's a beautiful lavender kind of blue purple. It is magic in an eyeshadow. Ugh. Next, I love these types of colors. It looks like a beautiful forest green, but then when you turn around, it gets super grungy, dark, and beautiful. That one is Wishful Winking, and I'm just obsessed. You guys know I love my green, so I had to sneak one more in there. This one is Sideline, and it's kind of like a grassy, sagey, olivey green, and it gets super red when you turn it around. It's just beautiful and not too dark, not too smoky. The next one is Rosé All Day which is one of my favorite ColourPop shades of all time. Almost a little chartreuse -y. I just think it's perfect for summer and spring. And then the last shade is Glass Ball. It is one of my favorite, favorite ColourPop shadows of all time. It's just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of blue and then it's that striking rusty red color. Just mind-bogglingly beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look at it. So gorgeous. Think of all the fun you can have with these colors.
So we're first going to take the shade Wake Up Call with a blending brush, and we're going to use this in our transition space very lightly. I don't want this one to be too deep, so I'm just blending that through the crease. Next, we're jumping into the shade Paper Tiger, which is one of my favorite ColourPop shadows of all time. Same brush, sticking with it. I remember when Paper Tiger first came out, just losing my mind over it because it's super, like, pure mustard. It's like super brown mustardy a little dingy a little grungy but still vibrant and that is just ugh, everything I love like it's a little murky and dirty not so pretty pastel shades I love these more unique shades and even though I'm describing it as if it's like dirty and foul it actually looks amazing on the eyes it's really cool and I am overextending that a bit towards the back of my brow kind of pulling it outwards I mean how gorgeous is that I love this color paper tiger is just gorgeous. From there with a wet brush we're going to go into the shade Carrot Cake, another favorite of mine. And as I'm sure you could imagine, we're going to kind of do a little cut crease situation with this but not even intending it to be super dramatic. I love Carrot Cake because it's like this bright yellow with flashes of gold. Place this all over the lid. This is like happy sunshine, daisy, amazing makeup. <laughs> do you love my descriptions or not so much? You guys know I tend to describe colors with either emotions or with food. <laughs> So for me, this look is all about happy, daisy, sunshine, amazingness. And of course, pigment for days. Taking Paper Tiger again, we're gonna use this to smudge into our lower lash line and blow that out a bit. You can skip this part if it's a little too sickly for you, I understand, <laughs> but I love it. It's just a fun summer look and I think it'd be really fun for festivals and you know, just little outdoor things like that where you want a little color and just happiness. Now with a wet little detail brush, we're also gonna go into the shade Rosé All Day by ColourPop. And as you can tell, it's not really a rosé color per se. It's more of a yellowy, limey green. Especially when used wet, you really start to see the green kind of dinginess come out in it that I love. And of course, I know this is not the shadow, but we can't do a yellow look without using their yellow eyeliner and mascara. So we're gonna take the ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Make Love. And then of course, duh, we need some of the yellow Goodbye ColourPop eyeliner eyeliner <laughs> mascara on our lower lash line. This is such a fun look. I'm like so digging it. And that is my first look using my pre-made ColourPop Build Your Own Palette Palette. Oh, what the fuck? We're first gonna take the shade Chic Happens with a blending brush and we're going to pop this through the crease. This is a gorgeous kind of mauve dusty rose color. I love this color. It's of course a matte formula and I'm just using this as our transition shadow. You can take it as light or as deep as you wanted. Like a really light coat of this is super gorgeous. Next we're popping into the shade Cute Alert with the same brush. This is a gorgeous little burgundy shadow and I'm just layering that right into the dusty mauve shade we already laid down into the crease that nice and smoky and dramatic. And then jumping into the shade Let's Do It with another blending brush. The biggest complaint I always make is that there's a lack of black shadow in palettes. And it doesn't even have to be black, like even just a deep espresso, but I love a smoky eye and I just need that striking dark color. So I had to incorporate a black into this palette. Next, we're going to wet an eyeshadow brush. Just using some setting spray. And we're gonna go into the shade Paradisco, which is just such a beautiful color. Again, you're gonna hear me say this a thousand times in this video. It's one of my all-time favorite ColourPop shadows. It's just so rich, so vibrant. And when you use it wet or if you use it on a super tacky base, it just is ugh, breathtaking. I can't even think of words to describe this color. It's just, it's really romantic, but yet mysterious. And I don't know, I'm just crazy about it. I mean, look at that pigment. So I'm just carving the outer half of my lid out with that color. And then with another wet shadow brush, we're jumping into Mr. Sandman, which is a beautiful, beautiful duochrome. And I popped this right on the inner half of that look. It is so just, oh, I don't know how to describe it. Again, it almost makes me think of the galaxy. It's such a mysterious, colorful little duochrome color. Love it so much. Like, look at that dimension. It is just such a beautiful eye. And here is my second look completed. Oh, you guys know I love this makeup. I love things that are smoky, vampy, sexy, dark, but yet colorful and it's amazing. If you're wondering what was on my lips, by the way, it is, oh, I just put it on, where is it? Oh, here it is. This is the Deck of Scarlet Matte Velvet Lip Color in the shade Moody Mauve. I've been loving these lately. So I just threw it on because I thought it would tie together. But yeah, that is my second look using my palette. <laughs>
Now we're gonna be doing this green look that I love. You guys know how much I love green, so I had to include some beautiful greens in this palette. To first prep the lid, we're gonna take Wake Up Call again. You guys will quickly notice this is like one of my go-to shades. And we're just gonna run this through the crease as our transition shade, as you do. I'll skip over this part because you guys have seen it a few times now, and it's pretty boring. Next, we're taking the shade Team Captain, which is this beautiful kind of murky camo color, love. And pop that into the crease underneath that beigey shade smoke it around as you do and just marry that into the transition shade next one of my favorite greens from ColourPop this is kind of like a teal green this is called conjure up and I'm taking that with my Sigma E25 like smaller blending brush and I'm just marrying it right into the two shades we laid down into our crease and that starts to give us that brighter green look to the eye. I love these colors together. Next with the wet brush, we're gonna pop into the shade Wishful Winking. This is one of those beautiful kind of foresty greens that have that sort of blue brown duochrome to it. And I'm going to pop this in the lid and carve out right underneath our crease. I think this shade really kind of makes a green smoky eye a little more unique. I mean, look at that color. It's mysterious, it's sexy, it's dark without you feeling like, oh my gosh, my eye makeup is so dark today. Like, it is just hot. It is hot, hot, hot. I love it. With that same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Sideline, which is a little more olivey. It still has a nice duochrome. And this I only brought on the inner half just to give a little dimension up there. And it just blends so beautifully on top of the previous color. And that is it for my green smoky eye, you guys. I don't know what my favorite's been yet, and I could do so much more with this palette, but I'm trying not to make this video a million years long. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this green is just my soul. It is my soul in eyeshadow. So for time's sake, I just went ahead and buffed Wake Up Call into my crease because you guys know that's my go-to transition. Now we're taking the shade Faucet, which is kind of like a brown burgundy, and we're working that into the crease. I love this eye. I think this is gorgeous. So just as we've been doing, I'm just forever impressed by the pigmentation and the blendability of ColourPop shadows. Like, ugh, it's just like, how do we get this great of quality for this price? Like, I don't understand. On top of that, with the same brush, we're taking the shade Cloud9, which is a nice espresso, and use that to deepen up our crease. You don't need much of this. I guess it's kind of up to how smoky you want to take it. And then on top of that, with my E40 blending brush from Sigma, we're taking Martian. This is just a nice burnt orange. This one, I just love to dust over everything. It gives it a shot of warmth and also aids in your blending, but just kind of transforms that from being kind of more purpley mauve to just kind of like a burnt crease color. Don't worry about if it gets on your lid here because we're covering that up with some shimmer. Popping back into our black shadow, let's do it with a little fluffy angled brush. This is the E70 brush from Sigma. I'm first gonna focus this on the outer V area, kind of doing like a halo eye. So just pouncing that in there and blending it in. And then exact same thing on the inner corner. Getting super smoky up in here. And then we're going to wet a brush. We're taking the shade Thank You Next. This is a gorgeous duochrome color. It's like brown and then it's pink. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me of like a firecracker or something. It's just super cool. And I'm plopping that right in the center of the lid. You can layer it a bit over the black so that it blends in nicely. I love this color. It just reminds me of a firecracker. I don't know. I love it. And then with a much smaller brush, we're taking the shade Solstice with the Mostest. Look at this color. It is so bright and fun. There's a thousand other ways I want to use this shadow like in a coming up video, but I'm just going to place this on my inner corner and then also drag it out on the lower lash line just for a little something extra. It just makes it really fun. And it has a really pretty blue like shimmer to it. It's really interesting actually. Ugh. I love that color. And then just taking the black shadow and a fat angled brush, I just did a quick little wing with shadow. I just love how a shadowy wing looks. It's just more smoky and honestly, it's a thousand times easier. <laughs> and that is it for this final look using my little palette, you guys. I'm so excited about this. You can pick it up now on ColourPop's website. I will link it down below for you guys. I believe this is only available through April. It's not going to be around forever. It's not a permanent item or anything like that. So just for the next two, to three weeks possibly only two weeks I believe it's just through April you will be able to purchase this um, and then it's gonna go away so it's definitely not permanent just so you guys know don't feel like you have to run out and buy it I appreciate your guys' support in every way that you give it to me both 
on social media and on my videos and of course when you purchase my little mini collabs. I know this is not like a real collab but it's the closest thing I've ever been to a ColourPop collab so I am like shaking because I'm like I'm treating it like it is one. I mean it's the closest I've ever been and my heart is just like unbelievably full. I can't believe they allowed me to do this like me. I can't believe they allowed me to do this. I don't know. I just it feels crazy to me. So anyway, you guys, that is my palette. I hope you love it as much as I do. Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, let me know if you pick it up. I want to personally thank you so very much. It means the world to me. And I hope that you love it just as much as I do. I think we can use this all year round for fun stuff, for neutral stuff, for date nights, for just like party nights. Like it's Fun. Two rows of mattes, two rows of amazing shimmers, and you just have everything you need in this little palette, and I love it so much. So definitely let me know your guys' thoughts. I love you. Thank you again for supporting me. I'm just rambling on because I just can't believe this is real. I'm gonna go now. And special shout out to anyone I'll be seeing at my meet and greet with Sigma Beauty tomorrow at iMats. I'm so excited for that as well. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!